Hey, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your AMD graphic card for Rainbow Six Siege X dropped recently. This guide will be covering all of the best PC settings as well as the AMD Adrenaline settings to help you improve FPS, get better performance, fix input latency in Rainbow Six Siege X. Make sure to watch this video till the end if you have an AMD graphic card and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. First things first, you want to have to head over to the AMD driver and support page for all of your processor and graphics unit. Over here, click on download Windows drivers and then open up the AMD Adrenaline Software Edition. You can head over to the show more options and then click on AMD Software Adrenaline Edition over here. Okay, once you are in the AMD software, what you guys have to do is check the driver and software version and make sure that it is always up to date. Once that is done, head over to the gaming tab and over here you will find games, graphics and advisors. What you guys have to do is simply select Rainbow Six Siege over here and then you'll find all of your R6X settings. What you guys have to do is under the gaming experience, select performance and then for the Radeon Super Resolution, set this thing to disabled. AMD Fluid Motion Frames, keep this thing off. Radeon Anti-Lag, you guys can turn this thing on. Then for the Radeon Chill and Image Sharpening, Enhanced Sync, all of these should be turned off. Click on the Advanced Settings over here and then for the Anti-Aliasing, go with Use Application Settings. Anti-Aliasing method should be Multi-Sampling and Morphological Anti-Aliasing should be turned off. For the Anisotropic Filtering, you guys can set this thing to Enable and then for the Anisotropic Filtering level, go with 2x. For the Texture Filtering Quality, you guys can go with Performance and Surface Format Optimization should be set to On. If this thing is giving you any performance issues, you can turn this thing off over here. For the tessellation mode, go with AMD optimized and for OpenGL triple buffering, set this thing to off. Then under the display tab, you'll find AMD FreeSync, go with AMD optimized. For scaling mode, go with global setting and integer scaling should be turned off. Then for custom color, set this thing to on and then for the saturation, you guys can go with 120. This will help you to boost the colors and the saturation palette. For the display color enhancement, click on disabled. And for the color deficiency correction, go with disabled over here as well. Once that is done, head over to the record and stream settings and over here go over to the settings tab. Make sure that record desktop, show indicators and all of these things are off over here. Once that is done, also ensure that under the media section, instant replay, instant GIF and in-game replays should be turned off. After that, head over to the performance tab and then head over to the tuning section over here. Scroll a bit down and under the GPU section, what you guys can do is select AMD Smart Access Memory and make sure that this is set to enabled. Once that is done, head over to the settings gear of the AMD Adrenaline and then under the display tab, disable GPU scaling and for the color depth, go with 10 BPC if that is available for your monitor. If you guys can find 12 BPC, that's even better. For the pixel format, go with RGB. And for the display color enhancement, go with disabled. Then you'll find custom color settings. Leave it as it is for this one. Then for overrides, HDCP support, you wanna have to set this thing to disable. Click on the proceed button and then you wanna have to restart your PC. Next step is fixing all of your packet loss, ping issues and latency using Gera Booster. I have left a free download link to Gera Booster right in the description below. Gear Up Booster acts as a tunnel to connect your PC straight to the game servers without any hindrance to fix all of your packet loss, high ping issues, latency and a lot of other cool stuff. It offers you over 1000 games to choose from. Simply select Rainbow Six Siege from this list. You guys can simply search it from here. Select your game and then select your server. For me, it is right in the Asia and then Asia Southeast. This will one click boost your network connection as well as your FPS in the game. You guys can select auto node over here and choose the lowest amount of ping that is available to you. For me it would be Singapore as it is giving me 20 milliseconds. Simply click on confirm and then click on confirm once again and this will reroute you with the lowest amount of ping. Another best setting in Gear Up Booster is clicking on this burger icon and then head over to settings. Click on optimization settings and enable optimize RAM after boosting. This will also help you to clean up your excess RAM and help you to utilize it while you are playing your games to boost your FPS. Once again, Gear Booster is an absolute fix for your hyping issues and connecting you to the servers directly without any hindrance. I have left a direct download link to Gear Booster right in my description below. 
go check it out before moving ahead i would like to introduce you guys to gvg mall which is actually a one shop stop solution for all of your in-game currencies in-game items game cards and steam origin and other game cd keys i personally like windows keys over here because i do not like and activate windows watermark on my windows screen and for that you guys can buy a windows 10 or windows 11 pro cd key over here these are genuine windows cd keys which are available at a discounted rate you guys can simply click on the buy now button and during this back to school super sale use code fox25 and then click on the apply button and you can get a windows 10 pro cd key for 16 dollars only with a free windows 11 upgrade or a Windows 11 Pro CD key which is originally $32 apply my coupon code and you can get it for $24.17 USD GVG Mall has a 4 star rating over 500 reviews and a 24 hour customer service I have left a link to GVG Mall right in the description below go check out for all of your games and gaming needs and with all that said, let's move to the video. Okay, once you have restarted your PC, head over to settings and then follow the best Windows settings. Come down to gaming, head over to game bar and turn this thing off. It is an overlay service which consumes a lot of your CPU resources and disabling that will help you to optimize your PC. Then click on the graphics button over here and you'll find optimizations for windowed games. Turn this thing on and then under the advanced graphics settings, use default high performance GPU as your native graphic card. After that, click on add desktop app button over here and then go to the download location of R6X. Once you find it, select it and then select rainbow6.exe and then click on the add button. If that app is already added in this list, scroll down and then select it. For the GPU preference, set this thing to high performance and ensure that it is using your graphic card. Once that is done, you can simply close it. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then select your local disk C. Click on the create button and name it R6X just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any form of data loss. Once that is done, close it and close system properties. The next step is R6X AMD optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can simply download it and you'll find in 5 very simple folders over here. Let us start with the first one that is CMD latency tweaks in which I have left disable memory compression for that you have to right click and run it as administrator this will run a command prompt which will help you to disable memory compression on your powershell if you want to re-enable it back again change this command from disable to enable save it and run it again second one is latency tweaks which you have to run it as administrator and once again it helps you to disable dynamic tick high precision event timer and synthetic timers to reduce your input latency second folder is the r6x priority which is your game priority i want you guys to leave your pc specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose for your game third one is amd gpu optimization in which i have left all three of these registries you want to have to run all of them and this will help you to optimize the performance of your graphic card by applying the best d word values fourth one is power plan settings in which i have left ultimate performance power plan right click and run it as administrator and then head over to power plans this will add ultimate performance power plan into your list simply select that and close it last folder is clean temporary files in which i have left local temp folder simply control a to select all of these files and then press shift and delete all together and then press enter to delete all of these files now once again you cannot delete some of them because they are actively in use and for that simply select this and then click on skip once that is done simply close this folder and now head over to the next step once you're done with all of that you guys now have to drop into the game with the best in game settings okay once you open up your game head over to your settings and then go over to options then come down to the display settings and make sure that your display adapter is your native graphic card. This is really important because you might have your CPU based graphics enabled over here. For your monitor, ensure that you're using your native monitor with your native resolution. Display mode, ensure that it is borderless or full screen because both of them works absolutely fine. VSync should be turned off, FPS limit should also be turned off and then you have wide letterbox. I have kept that to off. FOV I have gone with 60 but if you guys want you guys can increase that. Head over to the graphic settings and then for the overall graphic quality leave it as it is. For the texture quality go with high. Texture VRAM limit you guys can go with normal or below normal. Both of them works absolutely fine. Texture filtering go with 4x and 8x are really good. If your graphic card can handle it go with 16x. LOD quality you guys can go with high 
or medium. For the shading quality, go with low. Shadows quality, go with medium. Reflection quality, low. Then you have VFX quality. You wanna have to set this thing to low. Ambient occlusion should be set to off. Lens flare effect, go with off. Zoom in depth of field, off. AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 1.0. This is basically fast optimized upscaling technology. What you have to do over here is go with balanced or performance. Both of them works absolutely fine for higher refresh rate. But note that this will add a little bit of input latency. I personally like to go with quality over here. You can try between the Fidelity FX Super Resolution 1 and 2. For me, balanced on FX Resolution 2.0 works absolutely best. And then leave the adaptive render scaling target FPS to 0. For the TAA sharpness, you guys can go with 50 and then click on apply. Once in with that, head back and now you guys can drop into the game with the highest FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers and I trust you all. We'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.